Get to work. All right, you guys, welcome back. Hey, so we're going to get this wall taken care of today. In a minute, we need to get mom's laundry room back in tip top shape. And so, what we're going to do is basically build a cosmetic wall right here so that we have a nice place to put the washer outlet box and then the dryer vent. We'll just run it straight out through the wall and get everything hooked up. You know what time it is. Let's get to work. There you have it. Demolition complete. We've got these couple of things to deal with. A couple of these little tack strips. Uh, we'll work around that. And then basically I just need to get this wall uh, built and set in here. So I'm going to start marking out, measure out. We'll get us a wall built. So we're going to use this as our bottom plate. Try and line this up reasonably square to the wall. Make us a note. And then I'll just use my square. We'll make a mark where each of these things are. We want this wall to be straight. So I think what I'm going to do is chalk a line where we want the outside edge of the wall. And then we can measure off of that line to figure out how deep each one of these cuts is going to be. And then we'll just have to make sure that we're square uh, and plumb up on the top. So if we go four inches out from the wall. <laughs> So here's what I got. If I go three and seven eighths off the wall, you can see we get into the flooring right here. We've got a corner busted off there, no big deal. And we cut it right here originally to fit the wall. If I go three and three quarters, that gets us off the floor right here, but leaves us a pretty sizable gap. And then when we get to the end of the floor over here, look at that, we're almost an inch. Not a fan of that. Hosed either way. All right, we're gonna send it. Worst case, we gotta replace this plank of floor, which may need to be recut anyway. We may decide that we wanna replace this piece of floor right here to even it up with the door. But that'll give us a nice straight wall. We'll have just a tiny bit of gap in case there's some fluctuation along here if it's not consistent. So that'll give us a, about a quarter almost three-eighths across there so we'll measure from that line and start marking out our storyboard all right so i marked out for each of the utilities where they go through i marked out where 16 inch on center studs would fall and it looks like we're good all of them clear everything we got one goes dead over this but i need to pull that box off anyway and the cable is actually on this side of where that stud would be which is good because this cable we want on this side of the wall so i just got this washing box it uses shark bite connectors <clears throat> which is pretty handy and then it comes with this beautiful trim ring, but 
it has knockouts for the drain already built in. And it looks like that drain is actually a little bit smaller. So that's good. We can use the smaller size knockout in the bottom of there. If I put the box right there and run a stud right close to here, the copper's got to run through a stud. So six of one, half a dozen of the other. Let's put this here so that the copper is neat. We'll go right between those two studs. That puts this box kind of close in the corner which is fine keeps it hidden and then we'll have to put the p-trap on this side run it through and then re-glue this yeah i think that'll work so if we cut this we'll move the p-trap so that this abs pipe goes through the stud here we'll just put everything on this side then this electrical can go on the other side. Next question is, this box is three and three quarters. So that's literally gonna smash right up against that plank. I need to pull that down. That's the plan.
All right, boys and girls, you can see those cutouts that we put. Those worked out perfectly. I showed you how I did the upper ones. Both of those worked out perfectly. You saw my mistake. We had to cut the wall in half in order to get it to fit in here. But now we're, let me back up. I don't know if I can back up far enough. Now we're plumb this way. We're plumb this way. We're level like this. And that all looks real nice. That's going to frame in nicely. So, like I said, we're going to get a new drain right here. We'll uh, extend that through the 2x4, put our P-trap in there, and come up here. We'll have a drain box. We'll have the water hookup right there. This electrical came out of the wall. I peeled that section of the wall off. That gave me enough access to that wire. That'll let me run it on this other side of the 2x4 up here out of the way. We'll have the uh, washer plug right there. And then I'm going to see what I can do. I don't know how much more of this uh, length of wire we have. All right, guys, it's dark in here, so I don't know if you can see, but washer in. There's the washer out. Here's our dryer plug. And then I got to figure out. Somewhere should be the washer plug, but I'm gonna double check on this system because it's a stack. I'm kind of wondering if they aren't tied together electrically. So I'm gonna have to dig into that just a little bit, figure out what's up. But then this will kind of set the height of our uh, washer box and where the dryer vent comes through and all of that. So, I mean, you can see there's the existing, that's the out from the dryer. So I wanna put the out to the outside of the house close to that same height. Um, and make sure that like the washer water hookups leave us a nice loop and then we can hook up So they'll all be very close to the same height. That's the goal. I'm going to check out where the plugs need to be Take a few measures and we'll get after it Turn this water on real slow. Can you watch this for leaks right here? Sure. So I think I got it. But those two right there as I turn the water on. This sprays me in the face, you're in trouble. So I see no problems yet. Looks good, babe. <laughs>
All right, boys and girls, what do you think? We got it. All right, I don't know if I can zoom out far enough. Cut in around the electrical box. We gotta find some fancy schmancy thing to do over there. But it's nice and neat, it's nice and tight. 110 outlet, in case we put an ironing board here. We got the 220, the dryer outlet, the water, the drain is in there. We'll just zoom right in here. See, hot and cold. Nice little drain. Uh, shark bite connectors on that, made that super easy. The 220's in there. Uh, this is set high enough that we get a nice little loop coming up to the dryer. So in case any moisture gets on it, we've got a, a loop. It's above the height of the water. So we can't get water from these on there. And then the drain comes clear over here. Uh, the only thing that's kind of sketch is where this had to come out because of where the boards are. Um, this is really close to that outlet, so the wires kind of run near it on the back side of the wall. But uh, overall, looking pretty smooth. What we got left, we'll mud this, get those screw holes covered up. And then I don't know if mom wants to put wallpaper on there, but we could texture this just the same. Uh, the rest of the walls in this area are smooth, so we can just do paint texture on them, leave them smooth wall, and just leave the, uh, the roller texture. So that's it for now. Stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so what do you think? We got her about done. Let me flip you around and we'll show you some stuff. Right, so we got this all cut in. I'm gonna make a cover for that. That'll look real nice. We get the plugs taken care of. We got the dryer outlet. Washer thing is hooked up. We got a trim ring for that. All of this, you probably saw me. I did a wet sand with the sponge. So a couple of days once this is dry, uh, it'll be nice and smooth and it's ready for paint. So I got a couple of days off and in that time this can dry and then if mom wants to she can get after it with some paint. So tell me what you think. I think it's looking pretty good. We just got to get some paint on it, move the washer in here, be all set. We got mom's laundry room all wrapped up. She's going to take care of the paint. We'll go back in there, throw the trim boards down. I want to do uh corner trim on that outside corner just because where it's at it's going to take so much abuse we want to take make sure that it's taken care of and that corner doesn't keep breaking so i knew i was going to put that corner trim there all along that's why i didn't worry about putting corner bead um so we'll get rocking and rolling so i appreciate you guys i uh, appreciate all the time that you take to watch these videos uh, i know mom appreciates your support and uh yeah so we'll keep after it. We got some more projects coming, more exciting stuff. We still got a video on the fiddly bits at mom's house. We'll get that taken care of. And then uh, who knows? We got to move on to the silver car. We got jelly bean racer coming. So definitely going to get some work done on the K10, but we got some uh, stuff to do around Josh headquarters before we start the K10. So thanks everybody. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share on your socials. Appreciate all y'all. Get to work.